Welcome back to our channel. My name's Helena, and today we're going over how to use Lightroom in 10 easy steps. If you're a beginner looking to refine your skills, this tutorial will guide you through the editing process step by step, helping you unlock the full potential of your images. Let's get started. Step one, we're gonna open up Lightroom and import our photos. Before we can start editing, we need to bring the photos into the Lightroom catalog. You can do this by clicking on the import button and selecting the photos you want to edit. Lightroom offers various options for organizing your photos during import, such as applying keywords, adding metadata, and organizing into folders or collections. Step three, crop and straighten your photos. Lightroom's crop tool allows you to crop your photos to a specific aspect ratio or freeform, as well as straighten horizons and correct perspective distortion. Take your time to experiment with different crop ratios and compositions until you achieve your desired result. Step four, adjust exposure and contrast. Exposure and contrast are fundamental aspects of photo editing as they directly affect the brightness and tonal range of your images. Lightroom offers precise controls for adjusting exposure, contrast, highlights, shadows, whites, and blacks. Experiment with these sliders to achieve the desired balance of tones and contrast in your photos. You can also play with the tone curve here to adjust this. We have a full tutorial on how to use tone curve, so make sure you go and check it out. Now, moving on to step five, fine tune colors. Lightroom provides various tools for adjusting colors, including the temperature and tint sliders for white balance correction and the vibrance and saturation sliders for enhancing or toning down colors. You can use these tools to achieve accurate color reproduction and create visually compelling images. Now, step six, enhance details. Sharpening and noise reduction are essential steps in the editing process, especially for images captured in low light or at high ISO settings. Lightroom's detail panel offers precise controls for sharpening and noise reduction, allowing you to enhance the sharpness and clarity of your photos while minimizing noise and artifacts. Be careful not to overdo these adjustments as they can introduce unwanted artifacts. Step seven, apply presets. Presets are predefined settings that you can apply to your photos with a single click, saving you time and effort in the editing process. Lightroom comes with a variety of built-in presets, so experiment with different presets to find the look that best suits your style and vision. And also, you can create and save your own custom presets. Wanna know how? Let's move on to step number eight. Once you've edited a photo to your liking, you can save your adjustments as a custom preset to apply to other photos in the future. To create a preset, simply click on the plus icon next to the presets panel, name your preset, and choose which settings to include. This allows you to develop your own editing style and apply it consistently to your photos. Now moving on to something a little bit more advanced, masks. We use masks for selective editing. So what does that mean? Masks allow you to selectively apply edits to specific areas of your photo, giving you precise control over your adjustments. In Lightroom, you can use tools like the Adjustment Brush, Graduated Filter, and Radial Filter to create masks and apply edits to specific parts of your image. This allows you to enhance or adjust certain areas while leaving others untouched. Now for the last step, we're gonna learn how to remove objects from your photos. Sometimes unwanted objects or distractions can detract from the overall quality of your photo. Lightroom's spot removal tool allows you to easily remove these objects by either cloning or healing the surrounding area. Simply click on the object you want to remove and Lightroom will automatically and intelligently fill in the area with nearby pixels, seamlessly blending it into the background. This allows you to clean up your photos and create a more polished final image. During your editing process, always use keyboard shortcuts. Mastering keyboard shortcuts can significantly speed up your editing workflow and help you navigate Lightroom more efficiently. Some commonly used shortcuts include pressing G for grid view, D for develop module, and E for loop view. Experiment with shortcuts like Control S for save, Control Z for undo, and Control Shift E for export. And there are so many more, so make sure to search them up and start using it to speed up your workflow. And there you have it, editing photos in Lightroom in 10 easy steps. 
with practice and patience, you'll be creating stunning edits in no time. We hope you found this tutorial helpful, and if you have any questions or feedback, please feel free to leave them in the comments below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more tutorials like this, and until next time, happy editing.